Hi there, MTNZ members. It's Emma, and I'm back with Chewing the Fat. Today, I'm joined on this beautiful summer's day in Auckland by Blake Took. How are you, Blake? I'm very well, thank you. Cool. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying the sunshine. I'm enjoying listening to people doing the lawns. Um, so, yeah. So, you're back in Auckland. Where, um, I am. Um, so, um, for obvious reasons, of course. But anyway, we're going to catch up with Blake and find out, first of all, theatre. Why theatre for you? Um, it first started off when I started actually dancing. Um, and then plus dancing whilst taking drama at school, obviously merging both of them together, then you create musical theatre. And it just naturally became a process. Um, yeah, and uh, I only just started dancing when I was 13 years old and uh, drama only in high school, really. So, um, for your high school drama, I mean, obviously you had a fantastic teacher, but, um, <laughs> but you know, were you one of the few boys or how many boys did you have doing dance and drama when you were at high school? Um, well, in Rangitoto College, uh, I was the only boy in dancing, and then uh, with drama, it probably evens it out 50-50 most of the time. Um, and then once I moved to St. Kensington's College, um, I spent my last two years there, I had an amazing teacher, Miss Emma Bishop. <laughs> um, in, in, in dancing over there, um, it was the same sort of situation really just uh, by myself in the classroom with um all other girls and then um and just 50 50 in the drama room and then what did you um what was the next progression for you so after high school what happened um well i decided to do a diploma of performing arts and elite dance over in sydney um with a studio called brent street um, so that was a year-long course and it was probably one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Um, I absolutely loved the lifestyle over there and uh, just learning a whole bunch of uh, variety of styles and um, just experiencing um, lots of great um, moments in my life. Yeah. And did um, being at Brent Street open up those networks for you as well? Like being out of New Zealand, do you think that made a huge difference? It did definitely, yeah. Um, it exposes you to, to a lot um, more different, I guess, uh, shows because um, typically there would be around maybe 10 different musical theatre shows running throughout the year, whereas in, in Z you might not get as much um, musical theatre shows. You might be lucky to have one or two, um, one or two musical theatre shows coming through the Civic Theatre in Auckland, for example. Yeah, so um, it is a, a bigger business over there, um, which I loved and just being exposed to so many um, amazing um, role models and tutors and et cetera. So who, um, what, after after Brent Street, what have you most recently been doing? Um, well, I was I was uh, working as a backup singer for The Voice Australia for two years, um, and that was really awesome. Um, but then, for like an entire year, just working hard um, into getting my first show, and then eventually got into West Side Story, um, the musical. And that was amazing. Um, I toured around, toured around uh, Australia, New Zealand, and Germany uh, for all of 2019, and that was amazing. Yeah, such a good experience. Had you been to Europe? Had you been to Germany and Europe before, or was this the first time for you? I'd never been to Europe before. Yeah, and it was amazing. It was so good. Like I had um, five days uh, before and after our Germany tour uh, off so then I made a plan where I'd go to London and see some West End shows like I saw Waitress which was amazing um, and then after I took a, 
a holiday off and went to Paris, which was awesome. Oh, fantastic. And just before um, isolation, which I'm assuming was it isolation that brought you home? Yeah, it was, unfortunately. Um, I was uh, for January and February, just for two months teaching at a school in Perth. Um, and I was uh, just uh, sorting out, um, I guess, setting up my life over there just for this year until COVID got to a stage where I had to come home, unfortunately. But now um, I'm just teaching online through Zoom and that's, and that's been all good, great experience. Um, it's a little bit hard sometimes with the time difference, five hours. So some, most nights I'm working up until 2 a.m. in the morning, but um, <laughs> but now you, you love what you do, so you just do it. And um, tell us a little bit more about who in the music theatre landscape in New Zealand or in the dance landscape are the kind of names that when you stand up there to get your award, who who would it be that you're going to be thanking? <laughs> who who is it that I'm going to be thanking? I'm going to thank my uh, stepmom, I would say, because she got me into uh, the industry from from the very get go, the beginning. Because um, she had the studio you danced in, right? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. What studio was that? Um, at the time, it was called Victoria Phillips Academy. Um, and she owns a syllabus called Asia Pacific Dance Association. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll thank her, of course. Um, and then I'll thank uh, yourself, to be honest, because, um, it, it, yeah, like I absolutely did um, really take on a lot of. Um, a lot of things that you said over over the last um, year that I had with you in my last year of St. Kent's and um, just applied it to my everyday uh, work and lifestyle. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> and then, and then obviously just, uh, there, I, I did have a big role model um, in Brent Street called, uh, a guy called Cameron Mitchell and he's been involved with a whole bunch of musicals like Chicago. Um, he's done uh, the original West Side Story and um, et cetera. And he was in the movie Moulin Rouge. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. And he was my um, musical theatre uh, classical jazz uh, teacher at Brent Street and uh, formed a really close bond with him. And, um, he had always been a huge um, inspiration to me over there. Um, and then uh, big prompts to um, Joy McNeely, who was the director choreographer of West Side Story. Fantastic. It's, it's great to hear so many um, male role, role models as well, not just. Yeah. 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 In an in a industry that tends to be quite, well, teacher wise, and that there's a lot of females there as well, isn't there? Yes, there is, yeah. So, um, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy over the week and a half so far of lockdown? Um, well, physically, obviously, just keep on moving, staying fit. Um, you have to do that. Otherwise, um, if you're just sitting as a, a couch bum on your bed or whatnot, um, yeah, you, you're obviously just going to crumble down and you're going to not feel as good. Uh, physically and mentally so always keep on moving um, and keeping fit um, and I always do a 10 minute warm up with my voice every single day um, on this app called warm me up it's really amazing uh, gets, gets you to do a lot of um, really that's awesome my dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's your dog <laughs> um, yeah it gets me to do some really cool uh, singing exercises so that keeps obviously up there still going um, and uh, videoing yourself as much as possible with self tapes or um, uh, acting scenes or husband in the video there. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so just videoing yourself as well and just looking at the industry and seeing what's happening until um, big announcements come along. And have you got, um, um, have you got what's going to happen after 
when it after happens? Um, well, it, well, it's hard to think right now, really, because ev everything is on such a big halt. Um, and people are saying already that the industry is going to be affected for quite a long time uh, just because of the, the, I guess, the stopping of the whole industry. But um, uh, what my original plan was, um, was uh, looking at uh, the Australian production of Moulin Rouge, the musical that was coming, and also uh, Cats in South Korea, uh, which, which would have been really cool. Um, but now, oh, and also Book of Mormon, I, I got to the last callback to that, which was really nice. Um, but now everything's just been on postponed. So I guess it's just a waiting game, as it always is with the entertainment industry, just waiting. So if you were able to give a piece of advice to um, a next genner, maybe watching this or a um, soon to be finished high school student, about the industry, what would your biggest piece of advice be, do you think? Um, my, my advice would be to learn from your mistakes and humilities. And when I say humilities, I mean, um, I mean, when, when the mistakes come uh, through, when you're, for example, uh, in a live act and you, miss your cue or miss a line and you learn from that and you think oh, I don't really want to feel that um, ever again so then you work harder to not be able to uh, make any mistakes so learn from your mistakes and your humilities fantastic uh, that's a great piece of advice definitely yeah well I hope you have a fantastic time in the sunshine and that you um, enjoy being home with the family obviously it's not for the best reason to be home but um, I'm sure you'll make the most of it. It's great that we've got these fantastic technology that allows us to, um, like you said, you're able to still teach, um, even though it is all those hours away and it keeps you up late at night, which I'm sure your family must love hearing you dancing around the house at midnight. <laughs> When yeah, well, they have to say that it doesn't bother them. They can't hear it. So that's a huge bonus. But um... Yo, Well, that's definitely good that you can do that. Yeah. And, um, so for those, if people want to follow you and find out what you're doing with your life and your career, how can people follow Blake Took? Yes, yeah, so I, I, I mainly use, I am, am active on um, Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't really use Facebook anymore. Um, yeah, just uh, follow me on Instagram. It's uh, just Blake Took, B-L-A-K-E, and then Took, T-U-K-E. Fantastic. Yeah. So jump onto Instagram, give Blake a follow. Um, he's got some really cool footage and photos of his time during West Side Story that you can check out. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks so much for coming and chewing the fat with me and giving us a little bit of an insight into Blake Tube's world. And nice. M10Z, I look forward to seeing you next time on Chewing the Fat.